We'll never get to the gig on time now. I'll be able to play the bass tonight, right? Sure, bud. I'll uh, grab a bandage. Uh, Irma Thomas, the soul queen of New Orleans? <laughs> That's me. I'll get you to the gig with a little detour. Hop in. You're gonna need a wrist splint, antibiotic ointment, a bandage for the cut, ibuprofen, and a tetanus vaccine. You know what all those things have in common? They were developed in clinical trials. I know all about those. I personally led clinical trials for over a decade. Many folks don't know what clinical trials are or how they work. There's nothing secretive about them. There's about 300,000 trials going on every year. We want people to know about them. What's happening? Take it away, Doc Griggs. My man, Doc Gary, is having some issues. His wrist's all floppy like a soaking wet tissue. His head is pounding and it's got a big gag. Sorry about that, bud. I feel like an... <clears throat> in phase one, it's just a couple of folks. If everything's safe, then we widen the scope. The clinical trial moves on to phase two. Lots more people and effects to review. In phase three, there's a bigger collective. Gotta make sure that the treatment's effective. A stamp of approval means we're on to phase four. Checking for effects when you walk out the door. Now here's your new treatment. It's proven and safe. And I can rock out on the super cool base. Yeah. Hold up. We need to address the elephant in the room. I'm grateful for these medical discoveries, but this country has a dark history of people like me being mistreated by the medical community. Sadly, you're right. Black and brown people were abused and lied to by the scientists and the doctors who took an oath to protect them. It's little wonder that there's suspicion and mistrust around clinical trials and new medications within communities of color. Absolutely, Miss Irma. And it's because of that history that we have protections in place, ensuring that trials are ethical and safe for all participants. And why public health professionals, scientists, and doctors leading clinical trials are more diverse than ever. That is reassuring. I want the best medical care for my grandkids to live long, healthy lives, but they need to trust that doctors will treat them fairly and with respect. There's work to be done earning the trust of black and brown people, but changes like these are moving us in the right direction. Thanks, Miss Irma. This journey was really important, and addressing the elephant in the room made him a lot less scary. Indeed. And now let's get you to that gig on time. 